Time now for Who Owns Kenya. Now today on Who Owns Kenya, we look at Fly 540, the country's first low-cost airline that was in the news early last week with the reports that it's up for sale. Now, Fly 540 was established in 2005 with a head office as set up at ABC Place on Waiaki Way, Nairobi. The airline's inaugural flight from Nairobi to Mombasa came in November of the following year. The rationale behind the establishment of Fly 540 was to meet the demand for low-cost, no-frills air transport in the region. The low-cost, no-frills airline business model had been thriving in the rest of the world with Ryanair and EasyJet leading the way in European and American markets. What exactly is a, no, is a low cost, no frills airline. Now these are airlines that believe that the reason you get into a plane is simply to get from point A to point B at the lowest possible cost. Now such airlines eliminate what they view as unnecessary frills or luxuries, such as onboard entertainment, onboard meals and drinks, unless you pay for them directly, preferred seating in favor of a free seating arrangement, Premium cabins don't exist. Uh, instead, they have one standard class in the entire plane. Now, the Kenyan version of low-cost airlines derived its name from the fare it charges. You will notice that for every destination, Fly 540 charges a fare that invariably includes the figure 540. Even the phone number to the airline's head office is a 540 number. Now, among the creators of Fly 540 Aviation were seasoned professionals in the airline business. And uh, this included Don Smith, who had worked with international airlines for over 20 years. Also, Neil Stephan, who had worked for British Airways as the regional GM, uh, general manager for many years. And Nixon Orko, who had worked in several international airlines for more than a decade. Now, soon after the airline took off, Lonro Group, the London-based conglomerate, developed an interest in Fly 540 and bought a significant shareholding in the carrier. The entry of Lonro in Fly 540 saw the airline experience massive expansion, both in terms of new planes and new routes as well. Now, today, Fly 540 flies to over 20 destinations in eastern Africa. Last year, the airline carried about 525 thousand passengers grossing a turnover of 57 million US dollars that's about 4.5 billion Kenya shillings now it is perhaps this success of the local no frills airline that has attracted the attention of international aviation giants seeking an entry into the region. London-based Greek investor Sir Stelios Haji Wanu, who also happens to be the man behind the highly successful EasyJet group, is a key player in the group that is in discussions to buy Fly 540. According to the aviation industry experts, the deal is worth 85.7 million US dollars, that's about 7.19 billion Kenya shillings, and we'll see Fly 540 rebranded to become fast jet reflecting the entry of EasyJet into the local market. Now, the entry of EasyJet Group into the local air travel industry is bound to shake the market up and give the most dominant player, which, of course, is Kenya Airways, a run for its money. The Fly 540 aviation sale deal is configured as a multifaceted share transfer, share swap, and share sale deal set to be completed by July. That's just next month. Now, when the deal is complete, the shareholding of Fly 540 Aviation, or rather Fast Jet, will include the following companies. Let's take a look at who's going to be on that list. And, okay, I will read them out for you. It seems to have frozen. Uh, first of all, we have Rubicon Diversified Investments PLC. Now, this is a London Securities Exchange listed company, Rubicon Diversified Investments PLC. Also, I've already mentioned him, Sir Stelios, the Greek billionaire behind EasyJet Group. And, of course, Lonro PLC, which will have sold direct interest in the airline, but will acquire shareholding in Rubicon Diversified Investments PLC. Now, this being an ongoing deal, it's not possible to put a cash value to the shareholding for now. We'll certainly keep you updated on new developments. Now, I love this quote this week. It's a funny one. And it comes from the former U.S. President George W. Bush. Let's take a look at what he says. 
out of office now and he says, what I miss most about Air Force One is that there, they don't lose your luggage. <laughs> and with that, uh, we welcome Bernard Dong to the studio. Great to have you with Absolutely. us. Absolutely, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm doing well. What's new in sports? Of course, I have caught the fever. No, I haven't. The Olympic fever. <laughs> oh, the, f the Olympic one, yes. I thought you were going to talk the about Olympic. football. Uh, but the, the Olympic Olympics one, fever. I'm excited. Have three days to the Olympics. So exciting for Kenya. Uh, anticipation excitement is, of course, looming as the days progress before the start of the London Olympics. We're expecting a lot, so... Precisely, precisely. Of course, we are athletes. A lot is expected from them. An update on the London Olympics ahead in sports. Stay where you are. Get sporty after this small interlude. <laughs>